We've been on something of a journey during the first half of 2013, where we've undertaken a range of consultation with colleagues, with students, with our Board of Governors, some of whom are here today, our Senate and our General Assembly, and also with a range of external stakeholders, many of whom are here today. And just looking around the room, I, I certainly feel personally indebted to many of you that have worked with me in the university to help define what our priorities and our programs are for social responsibility. I'd also like to thank colleagues here today from Creative Concern who have worked with us on the creative elements and been able to deal with me and all the last minute deadlines and things, I'm very grateful. And also to Reason Digital who launched our website at literally 3.08 today, I understand. Um, they've um, obviously, the, the, these two agencies, if you know them, they're both from Manchester and specialize in working with organizations in the social and environmental sector, so very fitting they're here today. I'd like to give a special thanks to some of our colleagues who are here today who have um, been through the embarrassment of being profiled around campus and also been kind enough to feature on our blogs. And some of those today have a special badge saying making a difference on it and they'll be available to speak to you afterwards. Um, I'm also pleased we've got so many undergraduate students here today from our Manchester Access Program. Um, students who are undergraduates at the university that came through this program and I hope you get a chance to speak to as many of these as possible today. These are all students from the local region who were the first in their family to progress into higher education and they've been known to the university since they're in school when we spotted the talent that they had and also now as undergraduates what's really impressive um, about these students is that they are giving time back to encourage more students from underrepresented backgrounds from the local region to progress into higher education. So it's fitting that they share in today's event which is all about the university making a difference. And my final thanks go to the, um, our band, the Dixie Roots Collective. Um, these are students also from the university who performed at many events. I asked them, I hope you're not missing lectures today. And they all looked at me with a stony silence and said, oh, sorry, we might be, but I'm told that their head of school, Rebecca, is here somewhere today, uh, and that she gave permission for them to miss their lectures. So thanks very much for that, Rebecca. But again, um, th th this band, they play a lot at university events, but they're also involved in a number of outreach activities with schools, with hospitals, um, involved in rehabilitation projects and projects with refugees in our local communities. So they're all sat at the back there. I'd like them to stand and take a bow and for us all to give them a round of applause, please. So please stand up. <clears throat> so that's everything I need to do. I can relax now and I'll hand over to um, Professor Anise Ismail, our Associate Vice President for Social Responsibility. Good afternoon and um, thank you for coming here to help us uh, in a really important milestone uh, at this university, which is the launch of our, our new strategy around social responsibility. Uh, today is really a culmination of an extensive review and consultation that we undertook with staff, with students, and external stakeholders, many of you in this hall. And each one of you would have received two new publications today. Uh, one of these is our new strategic framework. It, it really sets out what we are doing in this university around social responsibility. And the other big book is really about the impact we're having. We, we've attempted to measure um, the impact that we have uh, in our community and nationally. And I think you'll be very impressed with some of the things that you find uh, in there. And today, as Julian has said, we've launched our web presence. So I hope that uh, you will have a chance to look at our website and see what we're achieving here. Nancy, our president and vice chancellor, is going to say something about the journey we have been in leading up to our new strategy for social responsibility. Um, but I thought that it would be useful because um, as we enter uh, 2014, uh, it'll be the 10th anniversary of the uh, creation of the new University of Manchester. And I thought it fitting to rehearse what we said in our founding statement here in this hall in 2004. And it said this, we want to make our university a place where students, whatever their backgrounds, learn to pursue truth, through rational inquiry, where researchers engaged in discovery are also teachers, where research is valued both for its own sake and for the betterment of the world, where academic freedom is encouraged and protected, where the cultivation of cognitive skills, independence of mind, intellectual integrity, and artistic expression promotes understanding and appreciation of the best that is known, thought, and created in the world, and where students and staff are encouraged as responsible citizens of their own societies and of the international community to embrace fundamental human and civil rights as the only just, 
sustainable basis for a humane civilization. So I hope you can see that the commitment to seeing this university as an essential contributor to the betterment of the wider society is something that is in our DNA. Today marks an important milestone in that journey. Nancy has personally led on social responsibility since she became president and vice chancellor three years ago, and her personal energy, passion, and commitment to this being a distinguishing feature of the university, I think is plain for all to see. So I'd like to invite our president and vice chancellor to address you today to formally launch our strategy. Thank you. So thank you very much indeed, Anise and Julian, and a warm welcome to everybody from me as well. It's wonderful to see so many who contribute to the university and its goal in social responsibility. Um, in, in addition to staff and students and external stakeholders, I'm pleased to welcome members of our Board of Governors and our General Assembly to this launch of our new strategy. Many of you here will be familiar with the fact uh, that we have three go goals in the university world-class research, outstanding teaching and learning, and social responsibility, also often known as Goal 3 for short, which is about making a difference to society. As you heard, we first uh, discussed this in 2010, and there was a question then as to whether we should have a vice president for social responsibility in the same way as we had a vice president for research and innovation and one for teaching, learning, and students. Uh, but I chose instead that I wanted to personally lead on this agenda. In this, of course, I'm supported by many people, including Anise as Associate Vice President, uh, Julian as Director of Social Responsibility, but also representatives of each of our four faculties, our professional support services, and our cultural institutions. And then, of course, a whole range of external colleagues. We might say the first of our two goals uh, are about us explaining what are we good at. And it's often been said, in contrast, Social responsibility is about what are we good for. As Anise highlighted in our foundation statement in 2004, we identified the goals and the standards of the university, what we were about and our values. But in fact, historically, there's a great record of commitment to social responsibility at this university. We're part of the original modern city home of the Industrial Revolution and the emergence of the first of England's great civic universities, very closely tied to the emergence of Manchester as a major international city. The university was established by the people of Manchester with its roots in 19th century England and very heavily dependent on outstanding philanthropists. There were three parts to that foundation. It was about workers' education for the new industrial class at the Manchester Mechanics Institute, the arts and sciences at Owens College, and the teaching of doctors to treat the sick locally. Just a few names from our history. Law graduate Christabel Pankhurst helped advance women's suffrage. We were the first English university to admit we're without regard to religious tests. We employed Britain's first black professor, the Nobel Prize winner, Arthur Lewis, and our first female academic, Marie Stopes, advocated birth control for women. So we have a rich legacy that we now intend to build on for the future. We're addressing grand societal challenges through our research. We're ensuring that our students, our graduates, have the opportunities to learn about social responsibility, to be challenged by some of the difficulties this faces. And of course, we're very committed to some of our grand challenges in energy, in cancer, in global health, in sustainability, and in poverty, where we have world-leading research institutes. But we know we have a long way to go in many areas. We still have very low representation of black and minority ethnic uh, staff, and indeed also of women in higher positions, as I'm reminded each time I attend the Russell Group, where I note my other 23 colleagues are all male. So it's a slow path, but an important one. In having social responsibility as one of our three goals in our current strategy, we absolutely must not allow this to be a soft option. We must treat social responsibility with the same rigor, the same focus, and the same effectiveness as we do our other two goals. We will have difficult decisions to make in relation to social responsibility. We won't always be able to meet our goals but we must nevertheless approach it with that rigor. 
Hence, we initiated a review of our activities in this, year, this area um, uh, earlier in the year and conducted a major, major consultation process. First of all, we found that there were over 70 uh, easily identifiable activities in social responsibility, which characterises the commitment of our staff to this. And indeed, I was delighted to see in our staff survey that 98% of the staff who responded believed in our goal of social responsibility. It was clear that we needed to focus. So we have five core priorities which you'll see addressed in your brochure. Research with impact making positive contributions to the major challenges we face in the 21st century. Producing socially responsible graduates, supporting our students from the widest range of backgrounds to exercise ethical, social, and environmental responsibility. Engaging our communities, those that are local to us and more widely. Ensuring that we have responsible processes and adhering to environmental sustainability. The second thing that we did was to undertake a major consultation. As you heard from Julian, we consulted staff, students, and external stakeholders, from our, particularly from our local community. And we identified, as a result of this, a small number of signature programs. This, of course, does not mean that we fail to value the other activities that staff and students undertake, but just that these are the focus uh, for the future. The first of these is addressing inequalities. Inequalities in health, in wealth, in class, in diversity, in education, in natural resources, in uh, climate change, and indeed in environment generally. The second is our Ethical Grand Challenges program, uh, such that we aim for every student that graduates from this university to have had training through a program in sustainability, social justice, and workplace ethics. Thirdly, our School Governors Initiative, which has already been very successful, in fact, over the last two years, we've grown from having 50 of our staff on the board of governors of local schools to over 120. And in fact, we won an award for this just last week. These staff already contribute an estimated 1,400 days of their time each year to the local community. And we've been told that that has an economic value of three quarters of a million pounds. The next step now is to grow the national network through our alumni as well as our staff. Our cultural access program, again, already very successful. We bring in, through our assets, children from some of the most underprivileged primary schools, to Jodrell Bank Discovery Centre, to the Manchester Mu Museum, to the Whitworth Art Gallery, and to the John Rylands Library, but also into our schools to learn about what's happening in the university. Indeed, I really like the statistic that we now recruit more students from the bottom quartile of postcode areas in the UK than Oxford, Cambridge, University College London, Imperial College London, and the London School of Economics put together. The Manchester Works programme is something that we initiated and, and now has a number of partnerships. The Works is based in Mossside and Ardwick with the goal of getting long-term unemployed back into jobs. So far, we've exceeded 1,000 people who we have got back into work. And again, uh, estimates independently suggest that this contributes to a £16 million saving in the local economy. Then, the finally, staff steps to sustainable, uh, sta sustainability. We aim to ensure that all staff are knowledgeable and have the resources to enhance their positive environmental actions and to reward those that, that make achievements. You will see uh, details of each of these programmes in your brochure. So third and finally, we needed to invest more in this activity. Uh, we appointed the first full-time director of social responsibility in March of this year, and Julian heads up a small central team that's coordinating our governance, planning, reporting, communication, and engagement activities. He's already achieved a great deal. Working together with myself, colleagues from across the university, and very importantly with students, particularly through the Students' Union, because they are essential partners to us, we're already starting to make progress in our goal of social responsibility. The next stage is to build awareness and engagement in, uh, across the university. You may have seen the purple biographical circles that we've installed across the campus. Uh, some people seem to have missed them, but um, hopefully you will now notice them. And this uh, has helped us to encourage staff, students and alumni to share stories of some of the very impressive ways in which they're contributing to society through a Making a Difference blog. 
Stories from the blog have appeared in nearly half a million people's Twitter feeds on social media, and a student-generated video on the topic was among the most popular we have produced to date. So this is about the beginning of a journey rather than the end. We already make significant commitments, but there is much more to do. We aim to build on the, this engagement and enthusiasm through the contribution of staff, students, alumni, and other stakeholders to programs like the School Governors, the Sustainability Initiative, external partnerships, philanthropy, volunteering, public engagement, and developments in our curriculum for our students. So in answering the question, what are we good for? I hope you can see that uh, the answer is quite a lot already. Much more we hope to come. This is extremely important to the university. As Julian said, social responsibility is not a nice add-on. It is something that is fundamental, that will take work and resource and commitment. But it's something that we are certainly committed to. I'm now going to uh, show you a very short video profiling some of the people uh, behind the strategy and the differences they're making. Uh, and then I hope you'll mingle and chat and meet people. And I just want to say thank you again to the many, many people who contribute to social responsibility and those who will do in the future. Thank you. Thank you.